What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Divin. And if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Welcome to my series for part two. And I think what I'm gonna do is with all these stocks that I mentioned, obviously, if you watched my previous video, I went in depth with the wildcard stock. So make sure you check that one out. I'll post the link at the end. And I think what I'm gonna do is individually post a video on these stocks and why I believe that they're the top REITs for 2023. So again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description. One of them I actually bought today with the series for part one. I'm buying that for M1 Finance tomorrow and I loved it so much that I'm adding it. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Smash that like button and let's check this part two out right now, in the first dividend stock I'm going to go over is gaming and leisure properties. GLPI is a symbol. It's sitting at 50.84. has a dividend yield of 5.55%. By the way, if you want me to post individual uh, reviews on these dividend stocks, make sure you comment in the comment section. I'll be glad to do that with a whole series for you guys. A PE ratio of 21.07. Who cares about PE ratio? Remember, FFO is more important. Average volume, 1.18 million. The market cap is 13.09 billion U.S. dollars. Year range is 4181 to 5343. Its day range is 5008 to 5145. And its previous close is 5056. Now, with these guys, these are a SIN stock. This is gaming and leisure properties. So these guys obviously took a huge hit during the pandemic. I will do an in-depth review with these guys in the future, so make sure you hit that notification bell. I'm going to go over their revenue and dividend history. Let's check that out. Revenue-wise, this is in millions U.S. dollars. 2015, it was 575. 2016, 828. 2017, 971. 2018, 1055. 2019, 1,153. And then 2020, you see the pandemic. It's like pretty much at equilibrium right there. It's not going up. It's not going down, which is pretty impressive for a uh, experiential REIT or a REIT for entertainment. And then 2021, the revenue jumped up to 1,216. So there has been a significant increase from 2015 to 2021. Now let's check out their dividend history. So here's their dividend history. Let's start in 2014. It was 52 cents. 2015, it jumped to 55 cents. 2016, 56 to 60 cents, 2017, 62 cents to 63 cents, 2018, then 68 cents, then 2019, 70 cents. Then you can see, obviously, the pandemic took a huge blow to these guys because you see in June is 12 cents. Then they jumped to 60 cents, then 2021, 65 cents to 67 cents. And then you look at this. You get maybe it looks like a little special dividend in 2022 at 24 cents and then they're at 69 cents and then they're at 71 cents payout ratio is 80 percent number of dividend increases in the last five years is six dividend growth in five years is 1.42 percent so if you bought one share you made 282 with a 5.58 percent dividend yield this dividend growth in five years right here i'm going to blame the pandemic i own these guys i'm long in them something crazy has to happen for me to get rid of these guys Let's jump to the next dividend stock. This dividend stock is a juggernaut. And honestly, with their portfolio, it's very similar to Stag. But these guys are way better. And I'll probably do a review with them versus Stag in the future. They're sitting at 116, a dividend yield of 2.72%, a PE ratio of 2150. Again, FFO, average volume 3.47 million. Market cap, 107.13 billion U.S. dollars. Its year range is 9803 to 174.54. Its day range is 116.06 to 118.59. And its previous close is 116.65. Now let's check out their revenue and dividend history. This is what makes these guys better than Stag. So in 2015, this is in million U.S. dollars, 2,197. 2016, 2,533. 2017, 2,618. 2018, 2,804, 2019, 3,330, 2020, 4,438, and then 2021, 4,759. That is a huge increase in revenue. I like the trends. These guys, I'm telling you, their dividend growth is solid. Let's check that out. Oh, yeah, check this out. 2010, it was 11 cents. 2011, 28 cents. 
2013, 28 cents. 2014, watch this, 33 cents. 2015, 36 cents. 2016, 42 cents. 2017, 44 cents. 2018, 48 cents. 2019, 53 cents. 2020, 58 cents. 2021, 63 cents. 2022, 79 cents. The dividend growth in five years is 11.91%. Their payout ratio is 63%. Number of dividend increases the last five years is five. If you bought one share, you made 316 with a 2.71% dividend yield. Now, it's not a high yielder, but the dividend growth backs up its mouth for being a very solid industrial real estate investment trust. Let's check the next dividend stock out, or REIT. Next is American Tower Court. Now, many people can argue that this is a communications sector stock. Now, AT&T and Verizon, now AT&T's dividend growth isn't too hot, but these guys is a real estate investment trust. I'll go over their dividend growth, but these guys are so impressive, they're already beating the S&P. Dividend yield is 2.85%. Average volume, 1.75 million. The PE ratio, 34.81. FFO, as you, you always know. Market cap, 102.11 billion US dollars. Its year range is 178.17 to 282.47. Its day range is 219.14 to 223.46. And its previous close was 218. 50. Let's check out their revenue and dividend history. And check out their revenue. This is in millions of US dollars. 2015, 4,771. 2016, 5,789. 2017, 6,663. 2018, 7,440. 2019, 7,580. 2020, 8,041. And then 2021, holy cow, 9,356. Look at this jump in revenue. Now, even better, let's check out their dividend history. Oh, check this out. 2012, 21 cents to 22 cents, 23 cents, 24 cents in 2013, 26 cents in 2013, 2014, 32 cents, 2015, 38 cents, 2016, 49 cents, then the 2017, 58 cents. Look at this jump. And then 2018, 70 cents, then 2019, 84 cents, then 2020, 101, and and then in February 2021, 121. And then in 2022, 114. Excuse me, 143. That was in July of 2022. And then in February 2023, 156. Payout ratios 59%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is 20. Dividend growth in five years is 17.43%. If you bought one share, you made 624 with a 2.86% dividend yield. Wow. That's all I had to say. Wow. That's solid. This is one that's definitely on my radar. I'm just letting you know. Let's check out the next dividend stock. And this is one that I own. By the way, American Tower is AMT. This one I own, National Retail Properties. It's sitting at 46.56, a dividend yield of 4.73%, a PE ratio of 26.65, as you know, FFO. I'll repeat that a thousand times with REITs. FFO is more important. Average volume 895.53K, market cap 8.32 billion US dollars. Year range is 3805 to 4876. Its day range is 4611 to 4676. And its previous close was 4661. Now let's check out their revenue and dividend history. So check out this revenue. This is in millions US dollars. 2015, 482. 2016, 533. 2017, 584. 2018, 622. 2019, 670, 2020, 660, blame the pandemic a little bit, and then 2021, 726. What a huge increase in revenue from 2015 to 2021. Now let's check out their dividend history. Now the dividend history is a little bit slower, but I like the consistency with these guys. So 2010, it's 38 cents, 2011, 39 cents, 2012, 40 cents, 2013, 41 cents, 2014, 42 cents. 2015, 44 cents, 2016, 46 cents, 2017, 48 cents, 2018, 50 cents, 2019, 52 cents, and then 2020, 2021, they jumped to 53 cents, and then 2022, they jumped to 55 cents. And the payout ratio is 70%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is five. Dividend growth in five years, it's not bad, 2.51%. 
but I like the diversification. If you bought one share, you made 220 with a 4.72% dividend yield. Now that growth is not as huge as American Tower, but I have one that may surprise you. Let's check this one out. And that is Universal Health Realty Income Trust. UHT is a symbol sitting at 48.64, a dividend yield of 5.88%. A PE ratio that's a little low, 6.26. But again, hey, we'll see how their revenue is doing. Average volume, 54.07K. Market cap, 671.34 million US dollars. Year range is 4092 to 6070. Its day range is 4847, 4911. Its previous close is 4877. Now, let's check out their revenue and dividend history. So here's their revenue. This is in millions US dollars. 2015, 6395. 2016, 67. 2017, 72. 2018, 76, 21. 2019, 77. 2020, 78. And then 2021, 84. So there is an increase in revenue, which is very attractive. Now, let's check out their dividend history. We'll start in 2010. It was 61 cents. 2012, 62 cents. 2013, 63 cents. 2014, 64 cents. 2015, 2016, 65 cents. 2016, it was 66, 67 cents. 2018, it was 68 cents. 2019, it's 69 cents. 2020, it was 70 cents. And then 2022, it cracked 72 cents. So the dividend growth in five years is 1.47%. Payout ratio is 80%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is 10. So if you bought one share, you made 286 with a 5.86% dividend yield. So I do own these guys. Um, Prologis and American Tower, I need to figure out one way to, that I can possibly uh, integrate these guys to my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. I've made a lot of changes, but those two I absolutely love especially American Tower. I need to really focus on the communication sector. And I really like the dividend growth in these guys, which make them a very attractive real estate investment trust. So my wildcard stock, I did a, a video on MPW. So that's that was my wildcard stock. I did an individual one uh, review with them for you guys. So I'll post that in the comment section and also um, at the end of this video. If you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. If you want me to do an individual review on all of these dividend stocks that I mentioned in this series, obviously minus the Miracle Realty Trust, I did a review on them at the end of the first video, but I'll be, I'll be glad to do an individual review on all of these. You guys take care and have a good one, and I will have a video for you tomorrow. Take